Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We are here again with Final Girl with the Poltergeist and Creech Manor. Creech Manor is a house. I'm always thinking Amityville Horror here. You know, hey, what can I say? And you can go up and around and there's one-way things. Basically, you need to go get somebody, run it, go down the ladder, go down the tire swing, or I think you jump here. And then you can go on ahead and release your people out. Bad news. I have a clingy victim. You must have one victim follow you if able. So hopefully we're going to get them out of there and survive. The other interesting thing here is the poltergeist. You cannot damage them. The only way is you have to. This is a search based one. So we're going to have to go through these searches here. And go searching like crazy for Carolyn, who will get us out. There's also a Mr. Flopsy, who will, we may need. So our final girl is Alice. She only has four health, but she does some extra really cool stuff. And choose one action card for the remainder, remainder of the game whenever you play that named Action card, you always roll exactly a 5 regardless of the horror level of any or any other modifiers. I don't know what to play on that one. I haven't... Yeah, I... By the way, I have not won this one yet. I have died every time. So this should be interesting and fun. I do have my dice rolling thing here. So, let's play Final Girl. <laughs> Number one. <sighs> okay, so the interesting thing here is weak attack is pointless here. As are most of the other attacks. Even retaliate. Okay, we'll go on ahead and ignore the damage. So that's good. So retaliate's not even worth buying by two guards instead of one retaliate. So we are, first of all, we are going to walk we have our dice no we're not going to walk we are going to focus because we are on three we can get all the way to one right off the bat and we'll put that there okay so we have one we can go on ahead and for one time no Oh, bummer. So we do lower it by one, but we also spend one time. We will do the second focus. We will trade these two off for to change this into a victory. And we lower this by one and it costs us one time again. Now we'll go ahead and do our walk. And search is two points. Oh. Is it worth buying the search right off the bat and not dealing with the walk? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and walk. And we have a failure. So we can move, we can eliminate one heart and I'm going to do that so we can move one spot. Does cost us two time. And we will move into the trophy room. Now I am going to end my turn here because I want to buy a search card. This is, like I said, this is a heavy search. game. So we put these back over here. We have ended our turn and now we go to the villain phase. This is tough. Going to move one and we'll move one and then do a slice slice. No. Oh, 
Oh wow, she moves two. Wow. So there's one gone right off the bat. Going to get that going. There is, she's gonna get the dark power really quick. This is not good. And we get a tarot card. Something unholy happened in the roll a die, depending on the result, place the killer in the room. Oh, this is not good. Six. Ballroom. We'll then slash. We'll move one. And slash. And cannot do anything. So the good news is we're okay here. We then upkeep phase. And we move along to turn number two. Okay, I am going to go on ahead and walk at this point. The good news is I do have three dice to roll. We have three successes, which means two successes, which means we do get to move two spaces. Okay, there, there. One, two, and we will climb down the ladder. We then release these two. We get one extra time. We heal one health. And that's all we're going to do. So we have a bunch of points to buy with. We have seven points to purchase with. So we are gonna buy search. That takes us down to five. Two sprint and a close call. So we are, and now we go to the killer phase. So the killer starts by hacking and moving. And we'll move, oh, it's gonna actually move this way. Choppy, chop, chop, chop. And then a behemoth appears. You may play action cards that inflict damage if you wish. If the behemoth is still alive, when you take damage equal to a killer's attack value plus one, you defend as normal. If you take damage, discard an item of your choice. You may inflict action cards to damage if you wish. Okay, I'm just going to flat out, I'm going to take the damage. And the behemoth will disappear. And I take one damage. Game. That would be a bad card late game. We move to turn number three. I am going to not spend the cards for the partial. I'll move two. I will then sprint again. Two successes. Oh, that costs us one time. This costs a second time. And we will, I wanna to get to I don't want to get myself caught in there. One. Two. Three. Yeah, I want to, I'll go with that. How do you get into this room? Oh, just straight across. Okay, so we have the three. And that will end. We will. Do a walk.
Okay, so with our walk, we have one success. That means we do get to move one. And we will move up here. Okay, we can't search. Don't want to... Let's focus. We're going to try and do a focus here, and I will spend the cards. So we have one partial, one success, short rest, weak attack, turn this into a double success. Focus will increase time by two, lower by one. And if I do another one and I get a double success, I get three. We're gonna try this. Double success. That's what I wanted. Okay, we get a plus two. We lower it by one, so it goes to eight. And that will be the end of our turn. Eight. Three. Okay, so we're going to buy distraction for three, two guards, that gets us to seven and eight for close call. We get one walk card back. That is the end of our turn. Reset to six and killer phase. Killer will move one, two, and then hack, no hacking. Voices, I hear vi voices. If there are no victims on board, discard this and draw the next card. If not all victims able to move up to the next floor, do so. So he cannot move up. This one cannot move up. This one cannot move up. They can only move down and that can only move down. Okay, so nobody can move up. And then we move one, two, and no hacking. Yay. Okay, we're going to start with walk. Double success, we get to move up to two spaces for one time. We'll move into the closet. We will Closet has this one, so we will go on ahead and spend a search. One success, one partial. We will reroll one die. Double success. That is what we needed. Take up the two item cards. At your space, place one on the top and Caroline when Caroline joins you remove all minor dark powers cards this is actually really good and the other one is I'm going to keep that on the top we will flopsy I want flopsy we will go on ahead and do another search Oh, no, we will play one card. Good, we got one success. Take the item card, which does cost us a time. Down three time, actually. And we get the rope ladder. Discard this card to remove the broken ladder token or to, re to place a 
rope ladder token in a room in a one-way movement area. Movement is now two-way. And by the way, the creature does not as has to follow one-way rules also. So that is the end of our turn. We have three left. Oh, do I want to do distraction? If I have a partial, I am going to do a distraction. No, I'm not. No, I'm not going to do distraction. So search goes back. And keep in mind, this person is now going to be following me. Uh, I might be best off running this way, depending on what happens here. Okay. Killer turn. Killer will go after final girl or person. They're going to go after a person. They will slash them. That's, oh, we're supposed to reveal a dark power card. All your, oh man, I move one less. I can move one, but if it's a three, I can only move two. That means I gotta do a lot of sprinting. Oh, that is not good. Stiff wind. Okay, and a terror card. Where the hell did this storm come from? Lightning strikes. Your space and each space adjacent to you. One victim in each space is killed and you lose a heart. Oh man, equal to the current attack value, which is fortunately still one. And that's it. Yeah, okay, that's it. They are killing more people than I, I need to get some more people. I need some people. I need everybody who's left. This is not good. And I'm going to be slow. Okay, so we will start with walk. Double success means we can move one. Unfortunately, that's all the walking we're going to be able to do this turn. We want to do a distraction. We are going to definitely do short rest. I do weak attack and Focus. Turn this into a positive. So we get. We did not reset this. We lost one on the walk. Yep. We gain two. Lower by two, we gain two more, so that's nine. And do I want to do focus? I want to do short rest. And we get one and lose one time. Total of eight. Our purchase phase. We want to buy six. Two, four. Six, eight. We get the one walk back. Card. Distraction. Killer phase. Oh. 
Lose one, two, will attack me. Perfect. Terra card. Clown doll appears. If you play an action card that inflicts damage, if you. Oh, hold it. I'm going to do guard. So I don't hopefully lose the points. I. Reduced by two. Perfect. That's all I needed. Terror card. Did that clown just move? A clown doll appears. You may play action cards that inflict damage if you wish. Then if the clown is still alive, you take at. So it's one. Oh no, I don't, I can't do anything. So I am going to take the two damage. Okay, that's it. That is not good. Not good. I'm gonna have to do this long rest one. Okay, we are going to sprint. Keep in mind we will only be able to move a maximum of two spaces. Great. Walk and search. So our walk and search is going to change the one sprint into a positive. We get to move one spot, which unfortunately will be there. We are going to sprint again. We have one success. We get to move one spot again. <sighs> Shoot. This is not good. Okay, and that's all I'm going to be able to do. I have four to purchase with, which I'm going to need the guards. I get my low cost cards back. to be needing this guard. <laughs> okay, he is going to move which way? One, two, three, four. And here. And will go after me. I will do a guard. We avoid two damage. This is good. Terra card. The ground is shaking. Pol place the poltergeister in your space. If I take any damage. So I have to play the guard again. Okay, please. I need one success. Please. Yes. So I will ignore all damage. If you take any damage, all your moves next action phase are panicked. Boy, that would be horrible. Okay, we're going to move to, and now turn number six. 
Okay, turn six, we're going to probably have to deal with a short rest. We definitely want to walk. And that's all we're going to be able to do. And we're only going to be able to get one space for walk. We have to discard two. Perfect. Weak attack and focus. We lose one time. We move down here by one. We're going to do a short rest. And we will lose one time, gain one back. And we have four to purchase. We will, of course, purchase guard. I think I can do that. Because it is... No, I didn't use these. Yes, I did. Okay, so I think I can purchase the guard again because they were technically on last turn. I think that's correct. I'm not 100% sure. So, killer... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Increase by two. One, two. Nothing. Okay, if Carolyn is with me, she is. Discard and draw the next terror card. Your first move of each action phase is panicked. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, but it doesn't count. Discard this w when you find Carolyn. That's right, doesn't count. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's the end of the killer turn. Someone must panic, so they will. Wow, they only have one place to, they only have one shot to move. And they do not move, so I'm gonna lose another one. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with walk. Reset time. Okay, I am going to go on ahead and I'm going to move one space. I'm going to lose two. We're going to move one. Get rid of this. Gain two back. So that's good. Okay. Then we are going to purchase get all of our zero cost cards back. And we have four to purchase with. We're gonna buy a search. We don't need a search. We just won. We have Carolyn, we're in safe space. When Carolyn joins you, remove all minor dark power cards. Carolyn cannot be killed, discard for any reason. You cannot place her in your backpack. Yeah. Oh, we just won. Wow. I feel like I didn't even get halfway through this. How many cards do we have left? Oh, good thing we won. I got lucky with that search. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. Come back later. See another video. Take a look at this that video and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day please like and subscribe